Hi, good morning everyone. I'm Claire and I'm here in Coffs Harbour as part of the Storytime team. Um, before we start, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet, the Gumbanya people, who have cared for this land since time immemorial. We pay our respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. So, today I am going to show you how to make a worm hotel. So worms are very clever creatures and they burrow and they make tunnels which is really good for putting air into the soil and they loosen, loosen the soil and improve the drainage. And the worms like eating, so they eat leaves and, and bits of any sort of leaf matter. And then when they poo, their poo um, gives nutrients to the soil, which again is good for your plants to grow. These are our worms. Um, so what we're going to do is make this hotel so that you can watch your own worms burrow and make tunnels. So we're going to start, you just get a jar, this is a, an old coffee jar but it can be any jar and we're going to put a layer of gravel in the bottom, soil, just soil from the garden and it's nice and moist because the, soil, the worms like um, a moist environment, not too wet and then to give our hotel different floors that they can Stay on. We now have some sand. Okay, so we continue doing this. Okay, so once we've filled the jar pretty much to the top, I've got a little bit of lettuce. They like things like lettuce, so just make it into tiny little bits. These are like weeds out the garden and we put that on the top and a little bit of water, not much but at least because of the gravel it'll pool in the bottom and then here are the worms and you'll find quite quickly, see this one is starting to burrow into the soil and they actually within a few minutes they'll all have disappeared. This is sand that I got from a sand pit. If you go to the beach to get your sand, just make sure that you wash it well with, um, with fresh water, just because that will all have salt water in it. We're just going to um, cover, cover with, um, I've got some cling film here. You just make some holes so that they get air. And another important thing is that the worms, because they live underground, they like it to be dark. So you can use some any sort of paper, but I've just got some newspaper here. And you want to keep it in a nice, um, cool, dark place. So this is one that I made, and as you can see, you can see where the worms have started to move and make tracks and mix the soil up. And so at the end of their holiday, the worms probably need to go back in the, into the garden. So maybe after a week or 10 days, it would be good if you could put them back in, in the soil and start again. So I hope you enjoyed doing this and thank you. See you next time. Bye.